Mickey Mouse, Homer Simpson, SpongeBob SquarePants, seemingly all of the Looney Tunes. If you watched animation long enough, you've probably noticed that most of your favorite characters have one very odd similarity. They all only have four fingers. It's an easy thing to overlook, but once you notice it, you can't unsee it. Just three fingers and a thumb. Like, they were drawn by someone who was always kind of iffy on basic human anatomy, and none of his friends had the heart to tell him. When you're concentrating on the plot and the characters of a show you love, it's kind of easy to shrug the missing digit off. But remember, Remember, nothing in animation happens by accident. Dozens and dozens of creative people didn't just all forget to add a finger. It was a creative and conscious choice made again and again and again. So what's up with that? Why are so many cartoon characters missing a finger? Is it just cartoon tradition or something more? Hey, I'm Cade with Channel Frederator and we're here to bust this four-fingered mystery wide open. So let's jump right into it. <laughs> Firstly, it's important to talk about the Uncanny Valley. The Uncanny Valley is a psychological theory originally proposed in 1970, which states that when something looks close to reality, but isn't an exact recreation of it, people get uncomfortable and creeped out. This is particularly true if the fake thing is supposed to be another person. Humans' brains are wired inherently to recognize other humans, so whenever we see something that's like a human but slightly off, it doesn't sit well with us. It's unappealing. Paradoxically, there's a sweet spot around the Uncanny Valley in which we understand that something is supposed to be a human without it strictly looking human in reality. For whatever reason, characters tend to be more appealing to us when they look less realistic. This is why a lot of cartoons have exaggerated details. Jimmy Neutron has a big head, the eyes in Moe anime take up half the face, Ginger from As Told by Ginger looks, well, like a creature from the deep to be honest. I mean, the show was well written and all, but... <sighs> Anyway, this still doesn't totally explain the fingers. Hands are one of the hardest parts of a body to draw, thanks to about 30 different joints and bones. It would be logical to think that it's a time-saving measure, but then why not knock it down to three fingers? Well, three looks a bit too obviously fake when it comes to human proportions. Take Invader Zim, for example. He and the other Urkins have three fingers, two and a thumb. It works on a subtle level to make the Urkins look a bit more, well, alien. Check out Jonan Vasquez using that old uncanny valley to his advantage, or even the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because, you know, they're mutated turtles. Other series have dabbled in this as well. In The Simpsons, God is notably the only character to have five human fingers. Adventure Time and Gravity Falls have even ventured into giving some characters six. Four fingers is still far and away the norm though. Four give our brain just enough information so that there's not that sense of unease, and it kind of tricks us into thinking. Sure, that looks right, there's something cartoony about it or whatever, but I'm not bothered. It even adds a bit of comedic stylized flair that older black and white cartoons strived for. The four finger technique dates all the way back to roughly the 1920s with Bray Studios, one of the first American cartoon studios that helped pioneer the animation industry. It's not completely clear if Bray Studios was the first to switch from using five fingers to four fingers, since many of their films have been damaged or lost over the years, but they certainly helped popularize it. By the time we get to Steamboat Willie in 1928, four-fingered characters are not uncommon. Mickey Mouse was created during the age of rounded character designs, which used circles as the base shape for the drawings. This whole circular design ethic was popularized by Felix the Cat, another animated character who tellingly also had four fingers. Because he was designed in this time period, Mickey's fingers were a bit fatter, looking more like hearty sausages than dainty twigs. The rounded design aesthetic was in fact partially responsible for the four-finger designs. Five puffed-up fingers ended up making characters' hands appear bulky and bizarre. In the words of Walt Disney himself, using five fingers would have made Mickey's hands look like a bunch of bananas. It's also worth mentioning that a lot of the classic animation characters of this period are pretty obviously anthropomorphic animals. Mickey Mouse, Felix the Cat, Oswald the Rabbit, even Betty Boop was originally this weird, like, unsettling poodle thing. I don't know, I just know I don't like it. But anyway, they're animals, right? This probably played into the four fingers as well. The digits and paws are hard to discern, and it's not unusual for them to have a fifth digit kind of tucked away underneath. This could very well be the reason why anthropomorphized characters can get away with only having four fingers, since that sneaky fifth would have been hidden away anyway. This has since been carried down to characters such as Gumball, Judy Hopps, Prince Naveen, the list just keeps going. Not to mention, four was, and still is, cheaper. Traditional animation can be up to 24 drawings per second for consistent animation. This means characters would be drawn and redrawn tens of thousands of times just for a 10 minute short. 
It seems small, but fewer fingers means less room for animators to make mistakes and saves a bunch of time. And of course, because animators need to be paid for all of their work, it saves a lot of money too. Walt Disney claimed that drawing just four digits saved the studio millions of dollars in all of his company's six and a half minute shorts. He may have been exaggerating, but probably not by much. I trust Walt with this stuff. He seems like a kind of money-centric dude. I, uh, I mean dreams. Walt's legacy of loving dreams, not money. I swear, just ask Pocahontas 2 or that Lilo and Stitch anime that I guarantee you've never heard about. It's real. Honestly, this is not a bit, it is real. Just as Uncle Walt intended. And hey, speaking of anime, if American animation has had four fingers for a very long time, what about animation coming from Japan? Is that also a thing there? More often than not, characters in Japanese animation have all five digits intact. If four saves so much time and money, why wouldn't they just use four fingers? It worked for The Simpsons, Bob's Burgers, and countless other human characters in Western animation. So why not Naruto, Goku, Eren, or Madoka? Countless centuries of cultural history, that's why. Discover with us. The first reason for five fingers in anime is the simplest. Like in many other East Asian cultures, the number four in Japan can also represent death. It's a superstition that dates back since recorded Japanese history and partially comes from the word shi, being used for both the number four and the word death. Think of it like the number 13, being unlucky in the West. You know how a lot of buildings just skip the 13th floor in a skyscraper? Not for any safety reason, but because they think it'll curse the building or something? Well, it's the same deal. New York high-rises don't want no ghosts, and Japan doesn't want no death hands. The second reason has to do with pinky promises. Uh, sort of. A common punishment for members of Yakuza, or Japanese Mafia, is a ritual self-amputation called Yubitsume. It required the Yakuza member to cut off one of their fingers to the first digit, usually the pinky, and was used as a sign of apology for having wronged another member of the Yakuza. A survey in 1993 found that nearly half of all members were missing digits, so to say it's strongly associated with crime would not be such a stretch of the imagination. I'm sure that no one at Nintendo wanted their audience to think that Ash from Pokemon moonlighted as a Yakuza hitman. The third and final reason gets a bit more political and complicated. In Japan, there was a social class known as the Edda, who existed during the Edo period. The Edda were more or less economically forced to live in ghettos and do jobs that many considered to be unclean or subhuman. Butchers, waste management, executioners, undertakers, these were all Edda jobs. The number four was often thrown at them as a derogatory term as if to say that, like animals, these people had four legs, and of course to carry with it the death connotation we discussed before. To add insult to injury, it also wasn't uncommon for the Edda to lose fingers during these really difficult occupations, even further associating them with the culturally cursed number. The modern day descendants of this caste, a group of people who call themselves the Birakumen, named after the impoverished communities the Edda formed, Birakumen, literally meaning people of the hamlets, actually still face quite a lot of discrimination, and some are quite vocal political activists in Japan. The most extreme and vocal of these activists claim that characters having four fingers are actually discrimination and an insult to their heritage. This includes foreign properties with four fingers actually being forced to pay preemptive retribution to the Birakumen lobbyist groups to let their four-fingered media into Japan. It was even rumored that for a while, Disney paid $5 million a year to these Birakumen groups in exchange for their blessing allowing Mickey Mouse to retain four fingers. And that's saying quite a bit, seeing as how we all know how much Walt Disney loved dreams. So, naturally, there have been cases when Western children's cartoons with four-fingered humans were edited to gain a fifth finger, such as Nick Jr. Bob the Builder, or the 1994 British show Postman Pat. Sometimes big productions can dodge this, but even a property as well known as The Simpsons have had their hands edited in a few Japanese video game releases. It's kind of a big deal. So for all these reasons, it was actually safer and cheaper for anime to retain the more human five-fingered characters. Still, some Japanese illustrators occasionally broke with tradition and went with a simplified four-fingered hand. Take Astro Boy, for example. Many of the characters were drawn like this for the exact same reason Mickey Mouse was. The hands looked too crowded with five fingers. Eventually, Osamu Tezuka began to draw Astro Boy with a regular five-fingered hand. Why? He was told he had to do it for advertisements so as not to offend anyone. Of course, oversimplified characters in anime such as chibi or super deformed characters may miss a digit or have no fingers at all. You know, something like a Powerpuff Girl flipper. Are those girls okay? Like, for real, what was Chemical X? While it's still common for Western animation to use four fingers, it's not like we don't also have five-fingered characters. Look at the cast from King of the Hill, codenamed Kids Next Door, Samurai Jack, Avatar The Last Airbender, and more. Just like us, they're working with a full set of fingers. Unless you're Yakuza. I don't know who's watching this video. So in the end, the answer to the four-fingered conundrum is far from simple. It has its roots in tradition, money, culture, and even how our brains see things that aren't quite human. 
And yes, it is easier to draw, but with all the advances happening in computer-generated animation, freeing up the animators, it's possible that in a few years, Four Fingers may not even be the norm anymore. We could be in for a brave new world. So, what do you guys think? Would you like to see more informative videos like this? Do you prefer cartoons with less or more digits on their hands? Use your fingers to leave us a comment down below and let us know what you'd like us to look into next. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to Channel Frederator, and if you're really interested, make sure to click the bell icon below to become a part of our growing notification squad. Until next time, I'm Cade, and don't forget, Frederator loves you.